Hey everybody, welcome back to The Hunter. We're going to start off in Ogre Bar, we're going to learn our level 18 skills, and then we're going to actually head on over to Undercity, so I hope you guys are strapped in tight for a little ride here as we do some traveling, see some new sights. Uh, we're going to pick up rank 2 of Aspect of the Hawk, of course. Ah, multi-shot, an AoE, hitting three targets. Yep, we need that. We need the next rank of Serpent Sting. And then Mongoose Bite, we will not take. We'll take Track Undead. It might come in useful for a quest at some point, especially if we do some stuff over in Silver Pine. Although I guess the undead would be on our side in that case. Either way, that's what we'll do. Let's replace that. And replace that. And then multi-shots, we'll put on F3 for now. And I think when we're over in Silver Pine, we'll, we'll catch a bear. Catching a bear will probably be the first thing we do. Uh, we've had the boar, you know, since we were able to tame pets, so it's probably time for a, a change of pace. So yeah, now all that's left to do is run out to the Zeppelin. And then when we're... You know what we should do? I'm pretty sure I've, tra I've trained all the weapons here we could train. Um, but when we get to Undercity, we will also visit the Weapon Master. And train any weapons we can there. I think we train guns there. If I'm not mistaken. Hope you guys are all doing well this evening, and I want to say thank you so much for joining me today and for supporting the series and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. It really means a lot to me, so yeah, thanks again, guys. Pretty quiet here in Ogremar tonight. Pretty quiet. Kind of hoping that we'll see more people doing the leveling process, like legitimately leveling, maybe when we get a date for Burning Crusade. Just wanted to see what multi shot looked like. It doesn't look anything like uh, the multi shot of today. It didn't really look like a multiple shot kind of thing. It looked like one shot to me. Oh, look at this. Uh, chances are we miss this. Unless it just got here. But yeah, that's the that's the one we need, I think. One of these goes to Stranglethorn, and one of them goes to Undercity. Well, not to Undercity, but to, right outside Undercity in, in Brill. Talk to me. Yeah, this one goes to the under... Well, we made it on, so yeah, it must have just got here. 
Let's go see what's going on below deck. Absolutely nothing. But we can get a good view of Duratar from here. For some reason I thought there was at least one NPC on these ships. Uh, for like some sort of realism, but yeah, I guess not. Piloted by a crew of zero. It's a little bit unsettling to be the only person on the Zeppelin. It's a little bit unsettling, but it is very picturesque. And now the mood has changed. We're going to wait until we're all the way up there before we jump off. Well, we almost missed that. We should survive this though. There we go. So yeah, we'll go inside the Undercity first and then to get to Silver Pine, we're actually gonna circle uh, over there far to the right. But we'll go in here and visit the Weapon Master. Hopefully learn uh, one-handed swords and guns. And we're not going to make the elevator. We can talk to these guys though, and they will tell us where the Weapon Master is at. Of course, over in the War Quarter, because that is the only thing that makes sense. But now we know exactly where he's at. We'll grab the flight point. Yeah, I mean, if it was quiet in Orgrimmar, it's absolutely empty here in Undercity. There are nine people here right now. 
We might have excluded a few people who are south of level 15, but yeah, overall not a lot of people happening right here right now. Uh, we need food for this guy, like really badly. I don't think he cares about bread at all. We could feed him bread all day. I don't know if it's gonna make him happy. We'll see, I guess. Oh, it did. He doesn't really care. Like, the, the differences in how much happiness his favorite foods convey compared to his not so favorite foods, I don't think it really matters. Doesn't seem to. What is it? Uh, no, he has crossbows. Which is fine. Daggers, one handed and two handed swords. And now we are we're south of a gold, which is sad. Oh, we can learn pole arms at level twenty. Do the Torin? Do we train guns in Thunderbluff? That's a little weird to me. I would have thought that the undead had guns because I, I don't know, I figure humans could probably use guns. Maybe they can't. Well, okay then. Uh, let's, let's just head out of here. I'm glad that we trained what we did. It's gonna allow us more versatility with our one-handed weapons. And we can we can learn two-handed swords, which I did not know. We I think we had a sword that would have been mildly useful, but I was pretty sure we couldn't use two-handed swords. That's incredible. I wonder if the elevators down into the Undercity were always there, or did the Forsaken put them there once they moved into the Undercity? Because wasn't the Undercity originally like just a crypt of Lordaeron where they like buried people, like important people? The Undercity was always there from what I understand. Obviously people didn't used to live in it. I don't understand why none of these like warriors are wrapped in anything more than like a blanket or sheet or whatever this is supposed to be. Why why wouldn't they be wearing armor? No. All of them are basically nude. It's pretty strange. And then the thing that covers them is not even really a discernible thing. You can't tell like what it's supposed to be. Killers. Two R's. Nice name. Alright, we are headed this way. Uh, to Silver Pine. I wonder if the Dark Hounds can be pets. Not really interested, but I'm interested to know, but I don't think I would have one as a pet. You can't be a you can't be a, a undead hunter, so But if you could, you would want to start with a cursed Dark Hound because thematically it would fit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have a little bit of a run on our hands to get down to the Sepulchre. We might have a few quests we can pick up in the northern part. 
of Silver Pine, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe I'm just thinking of like post Cataclysm quest. But I remember there being a farm to the north that we could do a couple of things at. We'll see if that pans out to be the case. Yeah, see, right away, these guys up here, we're, we're way out level 4. Obviously, Silver Pine is like the barren zone of the Eastern Kingdom, so we would have come here at the same time on an undead character that we went into the barren, so... Maybe some of this stuff is going to be too under level for us to take on, we'll see. Let's go off the beaten path a little bit and see if we can reveal anything on the map. Malden's Orchard. Alright. see some buildings. Uh, I see some enemies too, but like I said, we're eight levels above them, so they don't particularly care about us. We walked right by that one. Uh, nobody's home. The fire would suggest somebody's been here, but they're not currently here. We've got Rain Yorick here, a Death Stalker. Oh, she has an under level quest for us. Ought to get Warg Hearts. Yeah, see, that one's already grayed out. And this guy doesn't have anything to say to us at all besides the fact that he is forsaken. So yeah. We could probably do this quest for her, but I mean it's not going to be worth anything besides Undercity reputation basically. And it really depends on what kind of drop rate it has. Uh, we should have trained the next level of skinning while we were in Undercity. I hate fighting stuff that we don't get experience for. Yeah, we're probably not going to do this one because it seems to have a crappy drop rate on top of being a quest that we're not going to get credit for as far as getting experience. And we'll just hope that it doesn't chain into anything too important. I think the sepulcher is like all the way down here, isn't it? We might have quite a run. Let's, let's be on the lookout for any bears we might be able to capture. So far I've only seen wargs and zombies and now there's uh, some worgen. There's a bear. I mean, these are pretty plain looking bear, but... We should probably do with a little change here. He's gonna be level 12, but I'm kinda hoping that he'll level up quickly. We have too many pets already. Oh... So we'd have to abandon him. I'm... I'm fine with this. Oh, 
Alright, uh, that'll do for a little bit of a change. I don't know right off the bat if he's going to be as good as the boar was, because the boar had a few levels on him. I'm wondering how quickly he'll catch up. Yeah, like, he might he might not even know taunt right now. <laughs> we might have... We might have just made a terrible mistake. We might have just made a terrible mistake. Oh look, I hope he likes stringy wolf meat. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him trained up like right away. Um, I'm hoping that there's gonna be a flight point in the sepulcher. We can go back to the undercity, find the hunter trainer there and... Oh, look at all these guys. Level 12. And then we'll find the hunter trainer there and hopefully teach him some things because... Uh, he needs to... He needs to know how to taunt. And right now he knows nothing. It might have been a smarter idea to hang on to the boar until we find like an at-level bear. But that's okay. I think it'll be fine no matter what. Worst case scenario, he sucks for a little bit. I might just have to have him go like battle some guys out here to, to gain some levels. We'll start laying down this immolation trap since we're likely to pull aggro. There we go. Yeah, I think he'll level up quickly enough. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. He seems like he's a little bit of a spaz. I kind of wish that, like, they would stay the size that they were. Like, I wish he was just a little bit bigger. He looks like a mini bear. Like, I kind of want it like a full-size bear, but this is as good as it gets, apparently. Uh, we should have laid down our our trap. These guys are so weak, it doesn't matter. Just trying to get this guy some experience. Ooh. Intellect and strength. The staff is better. The staff is better DPS. Oh, this is a mace. Can't use this anyway. For some reason, I thought it was a sword. I looked at it really closely, as you can imagine. Alright, we do have a, a bat flight point here. And then let's go turn in this quest over to the druid woman, Mira Rune Totem, uh, that we got a while ago from the guy who had us go hunt down and search out all the the oases and what was going on there. Who wish to speak? I can smell the dust of the barons on you, Hunter. You have traveled far. What is this? This shell has an inner glow, as if it still pulses with life. Amazing. I must study it further. Thank you. With luck, this shell will hold a secret I can use to aid the poor land of Silverpine. Uh, not really any upgrades here. Winds be at your back. Wait! No! <laughs> She doesn't have any follow-up quest to actually, like, help aid the land of Silverpine? What the hell? Well, that's kind of a huge letdown. I honestly expected her to have at least a couple of quests for us to do here, like, along those lines of, like, healing the land. Does she really never get any other quests for us? And now we're going to be doing, like, Forsaken stuff, like killing humans, right? Kill all the humans, they're all bad. Speak quickly. Yeah, we got Border Crossing, Baron's Peril, six Ravenclaw Drudgers, and what was this? Contents of the Wizard Crates. Farewell. And what do you have? Hello. 
Prove your worth. Moon rage white scalps. And Aragal must die. And this is Aragal as in Shadowfang keep Aragal. So we don't need to grab that one quite yet. Be quick about your we do need to grab some more arrows though. We could pick up a 10 slot quiver, but I feel like we're doing okay, like we don't really need it. We could pick up this fine longbow, but we're gonna be blowing through like basically all of our... It's like most of our coins, but I feel like it's worth it. It's a significant DPS upgrade. Watch your back. So we're going to do it. Looks like a bow. <laughs> no surprise there. Alright, well just to take the temperature here, let's grab a couple of these quests. We won't read them yet. Uh, we'll read them when we go to do them. Which will probably make more sense at the beginning of an episode than towards the end, but I, I want to see what level these are. Prove your worth is gray, but probably change into something. Yeah, wild hearts is also gray. We, well, that was the one we got up north. Border crossing, wizard crates, baron's peril is is orange. And let's see if there's anything down here. Yeah, we've got one down here. Oh, we got two. The dead fields. And Death Stalkers. Border Crossing and Dead Fields. Rodhide Knolls. I'm, I'm really surprised that, like, I shouldn't be, I guess, but that some of this stuff is already gray. So maybe we should work on doing a few of these. This one's an Amber Mill. This one is in the. Where is that at? I'm not really sure where that is. Some of these I know, some of them I don't. And then Baron's Peril, we can't do it. It's weird that we there are no yellow quests. We have two greens and an orange. Uh, but that's, that's what it is. So, yeah, let me know, you guys, what you think about uh, doing some quests here. I feel like we should do a couple of them. At the same time, uh, some things in the Barrens are green now, so we probably don't want to hit level 20. What now? We probably want to get out of here and go back to the Barrens before we ding level 20. We could probably safely ding level 19 and not have any of our quests in the Barrens go gray, but I think if we get level 20, like Shen's um, empty keg is probably going to go gray. Nugget slugs might be good to level 21. Yeah, we are now full on quest as well, so that's also going to be an issue if we pick up anything else here. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think we should do from here. Uh, my thought is that we should at least do the green quest that we have. Border crossing and the dead fields. And yeah, and then maybe after that we go back to the barrens, catch up our green quest there, and we just kind of keep an eye on it. We can bounce back and forth if we want to and take care of green quest and yellow quest and just like make sure we're not being forced into doing any orange quest. And just stay like ahead of the leveling curve a little bit It would be good, like getting some rested experience would also help us with that. What I'm trying to avoid on this character is I, I don't want to get to level 40 and be at a place where we're like ahead and we have no quest to do. Uh, I want to. I want to get us into a good place quest-wise. So I feel like that's why it's a good idea to at least consider knocking out some of the quest here. Let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. Sorry, this one was kind of boring. Just a lot of travel and seeing the sights and uh, running around. So yeah, more action to come next time. I do appreciate the support on the series, though, guys. It means the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.